In this video I'm going to show you how to connect and use your iPhone 5 in conjunction with the App Radio 2. Pioneer has recently introduced version 8.30 of their firmware into the Pioneer unit that now supports touchscreen and connectivity with the iPhone 5, which previously it only worked with the iPhone 4S and below. So make sure that your head unit has at least 8.30 and if you're not sure you can go on to Pioneer's website they have a free download there and it simply uh, uses your USB cable on the factory cable that connects into the back of this unit in order to do the upgrade it's actually fairly simple so uh, let's turn on the car here and I'm going to show you the boot up time for the unit so we just switch the car on and this is a factory unit out of the box there's no modifications to it in any way so we get the standard uh, screen here now it's attempting to communicate with the uh, iPhone and you'll see a little Bluetooth indicator right here that shows that it is communicating with this. What I have here is the, in terms of the connection, I have the Apple HDMI connector adapter and a standard $10 HDMI cable that goes into the back of the head unit where it has an HDMI connector on the back of that. So this is really all you need for this setup. Uh, the Adapter also has another lightning connector in there in case you want to connect it to a uh, charging device in order to charge it while you're driving. But uh, I've omitted that for this demonstration here. So what you need on your phone now is uh, the App Radio app, and that supports the apps in here. And uh, when we turn on the app section on this, it attempts to launch it over here, so we allow that. And then I have a uh, parking brake bypass switch down here. And it recognizes the phone, sees that. And now we have our apps on there. Prior to version 8.30, none of this would function. What they've done is they've made it so that it communicates via Bluetooth instead of the cable. Prior to the iPhone 5, all these communications were uh, happening through your uh, factory cable but with the the iPhone 5 now they had to change that to Bluetooth communications and you'll see that everything actually works quite nicely we've now got our uh, touch screen back again which we didn't have before with this new firmware so we can scroll and everything works very nicely here so let's go back and uh, I can even uh, view my photo section like so bring up photos This one here is a nice app, Dash Command. It connects, you'll notice that it changes over here on the phone to show that the Dash Command is coming up. And what this does is it gives me mile an hour uh, acceleration, power, torque. Uh, you can do things like look at fuel economy. Actually a very handy app. It requires an additional device that goes into your car in order to uh, pull all this data from the car itself. But it's actually a very nice device. One thing you'll notice is that the iPod icon is no longer active. It's grayed out and it, it doesn't function now with the iPhone 5. However, what they've done is they've included a new app that when you go in here to the apps section, and I'll scroll across here, there's a new app called Car Media Play. You do need to download, download this from the App Store in order to play your iPod and videos through here. Uh, this is actually a nice program. If I uh, click that on, you'll see that we switched over to the Car Media Player. And it provides us the uh, same access we had before, but with a different interface. So I can get to my music from here. And now uh, this will give me the different albums here, or the, I'm sorry, the different songs on the same album. But well, the one thing I like is it's very quick. The head unit and the response time is very nice on this, and it's actually working quite well. I'm very happy with what they've done on that. Now, this is just the music on here. I can go up here. Uh, it gives me, like I say, this is a little different uh, interface than we had before with the iPhone 4S and below, but it works quite well. Uh, if I want to go to videos, I can watch any sort of video on here as well. And again, you get the 16 by 9 screen, so it looks good, it sounds good, I can work the video through here, and plus, I do have my touchscreen controls back. So it seems to be very 
uh, functional and I like what they've done here. Again, we can choose our music through this section here, genres, audiobooks. The only oddity that I think that might be a little bug in this first version is that if I go to podcasts, it says there's no podcast available, even though I have about a dozen of them on my phone. They do, however, show up under videos right now. So that's probably just a minor bug they need to work out with an extra vision. But other than that, this seems to work very well. And I just press this back here again, the center button, and it takes me back to my main app screen down here and if I press this again it'll take me back to the home screen now one of the main things I like is that uh, my Pandora is back uh, prior to this release we were unable to play Pandora on the iPhone 5 but we've now you'll notice that it's now communicating through Bluetooth to my phone and I'm able to uh, play Pandora as usual and it works great we have the full featured interface back again, same interface as before, and that works quite well. And of course your uh, phone mechanism works just as it did before, you can place calls and such, so that's not changed. But anyway, the bottom line is that they fixed the um, apps and everything for the um, iPhone 5 and everything seems to be back working again. So I'm very happy with this, if you have your iPhone 5 and an app radio too, I highly recommend this combination. It works very well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments in the comment field. Thank you.